Hey guys, I am back with a slightly different video. This week I'm going to be talking to you about my August favourites. I love watching these videos on YouTube. They're one of my favourite things to watch. I love hearing about other people's monthly favourites. So I thought I'd finally do one on my channel and see if you guys enjoyed watching it too. Um, so. Hopefully you do. <laughs> so let's get started. I've broken my favorites up into a few segments. My first one is home and lifestyle. Number one is this beautiful diffuser. I kept the package because I knew I was going to want to tell you about it. So it's actually from Sainsbury. So that's a UK supermarket called Black Amber and Patchouli. Patchouli? Yeah, I didn't actually think about reading that until I got here. This was only about 14 pounds I think. I'll leave everything I know in the description box below so you can go um, check it out for yourself. Every time I walk in my room, I just go like that and it makes me happy. It's kind of, how would you explain? A sophisticated woody, that is definitely it. It's a woody oriental dominated by opulent notes of creamy sandalwood. Amber and earthy patchouli, or is it patchouli? With elegant floral accents of lily and velvet rose. This is just in my room, smelling amazing, diffusing greatness. Oh, smells good. My second is a drink, elderflower cordial. I discovered elderflower, I would say about a year ago now, but only in the past two months have we had elderflower cordial at home. For some reason I just did not realise you could buy it for yourself at home. I have got the Blossom Cottage one right now. I'm not really picky with brands. Every elderflower cordial I've tried so far tastes pretty much exactly the same. I have this with some iced sparkling water and if I really want to treat myself, I pop this in. Crystal light liquid. I actually got this in America. Don't think you can get this over here in the UK, but I thought I'd mention it because I actually have lots of people that are from America watching my videos. And because I use fizzy water, it tastes like I'm drinking strawberry lemonade. So I do ice, a squirt of this, a bit of cordial, and then fizzy water. And sometimes I add a cheeky bit of gin, which is really nice. My third thing in home and lifestyle is my new plant. Look at this. I bought this from Ikea actually. They have really good plants and flowers and they really aren't expensive at all. And then I got this stand from Urban Outfitters. It was 15 pounds, which for Urban Outfitters, I think was pretty good. I used my sister's student discount as well, so that was amazing. The gold, the stand and the green, it just looks so elegant. This is going to be going in my bedroom. Funny story, when I bought this, the guy was like, oh, sorry, I can't give you the stand. It doesn't come with it. It's just for decoration. I was like, huh? It's, it comes with the stand. It, it's not, why would you just have that pot and make a stand perfect for it to sit in Urban Outfitters? I was like, it comes with it. Also, it's meant to be very good to have fresh plants in your bedroom, you know, for the oxygen and everything. If you're wanting to know what it's called, this is a Lifstonia rotundifolia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, but apparently it's part of the palm family. So I have two dogs, but this month my favorite is Pea. <laughs> Could you imagine? I can't single out Pea because I love both my dogs, but Pea was spayed this month, so I've just had an extra close connection with her this month. She's just seemed so sweet. She's finally got um, her neck band off. Her scar's looking pretty good. You. You won't even know at the end, I don't think. It literally just looks like a line in her belly. But this is P if you've never met her. Aww. She loves sitting on this sofa, but whenever we film, she wouldn't. Bye. Mules. Apparently these are Gucci dupes. I didn't realize that, I just got them because I love them. And they're from a shop called Ego. They're so comfy. When I first got them, I did get blisters the first day or two, but now they're so comfy. Just to throw on, it really smartens up an outfit and kind of makes me look a bit more fashionable. <laughs> I really love them. I love them so much that I've ordered a second pair ready for when these are broken. I'm so glad I bought them. My second favorite in clothes is this top. This is from Pretty Little Thing. I got it in a medium. I wanted it to be kind of big so then I could tighten at the waist. It's perfect for those casual days that you want to look a bit, you know, smarter. I also pair it with these shoes. 
and it makes it look really smart. I actually have a photo of me wearing this, I think, so I'll insert that now. It's a really nice material. I've washed it loads of times and the letters are still all intact, no breakage there, but I think it still look pretty cool if the letters start to break, so. Love it. And my last clothing favorite is this pretty blouse. It's so nice. It's one of those tops where if you want to be a bit smarter, but you don't want to put a dress on or something, you can get away with wearing something like this. It's from a shop called Gandhi's. The second reason why I love this is actually the story behind it. So I was actually sent this top. They are not paying me to promote it, but I love the story, which is why I want to tell you guys about it. So it's two brothers who set up Gandhi's and 10% of their profits actually go to their foundation, Orphans for Orphans. They help provide for underprivileged children who were suffering from the tsunami. You can follow their story on their website, so I'll leave that link as well. And you can go check it out. They've got some really nice, good quality bits in there. TV shows and films. Now, I absolutely love sitting down and chilling in front of the TV. The series I have absolutely loved in August was Ozark. My dad recommended it to me and I'm so glad I started watching it. There's only one series right now, but they're definitely gonna be bringing out another one, I'm sure. There's 10 episodes. They're about 45 minutes to an hour long, so you can really get into it. They're almost like a mini movie. Every episode is almost like a mini movie. Lots goes on. Jason Bateman, who actually is the main character and produces the TV show, um, he is a money launderer and I just find things like that really interesting. So I loved it. Great, great show. Um, so I'm now currently watching Narcos because I've finished Ozark. Let me know in the comments what I should watch next because it won't be long till I finish Narcos. So I'm gonna need something for afterwards. So let me know. Um, and if you haven't watched Ozark, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, movies. I go through phases of movies. Sometimes I have months where I don't watch any at all. And then some months I watch loads. So I had so many to pick from, but I've got two favorites. The first one is Baby Driver. I went to see that at the cinema. It was so good. It's one of those films where as soon as it finished, I was like, can we just stay and watch it again? I was actually getting to the end of the film like, oh, I don't want this to end. Do you ever get that or is it just me? But anyway, it's about a boy who's actually called Baby. He's a getaway driver for people that have just like robbed a bank. There's lots of music involved in the film. Maybe that's why I loved it. But I just thought it was a really good film. My second favorite film was The Founder, which is all about the McDonald story, how it came about, which was so interesting to watch. I really enjoy watching real life things in movie form or TV. What? Holly's back and staring at me. <laughs> Wonder if anyone else on YouTube has that. Always got their sister coming in and watching. She's currently rocking some pajama bottoms and a sports bra. <laughs> anyway, back to the movie. I love watching things that are to do with real life things. And I can't believe the story. Like, I can't believe the ending. Go watch it if you haven't, it was so good. And finally, I wanted to do a favorite Instagram slash YouTube account. And this month I wanted to talk about an Instagram account. It's an Australian girl who is 17 years old. Her account is called design lover underscore. She only actually has 675 followers, but she should have so many more. Her page is amazing. Um, I've been really into interior design recently, which is probably why I've been loving her page. She's one of those pages that post Lots of other people's photos, photos she's found on Instagram, but she also shouts out lots of accounts, which is why I love it so much because I can find loads of other interior design accounts through her account. So she does like three shout outs, and then she does like a theme. So she's got a yellow theme there, then she does three shout outs, then she's got a white one, a dark theme. Oh, look at that blue theme. Every time I'm on Instagram, I'm like, oh, that's amazing. And I look and it's her again, posting a photo. I absolutely love it. So go check her out, give her some love, give her a like, because she deserves so many more followers. So that is the end of my favorite video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing it. I definitely want to do more of these in the future and more of these style videos. So let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations and I'll get filming them. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye guys.